Hi, before we jump into our today's car review, we're just gonna check our sponsor for this video, carvertical.com. If you're in a used car market, you can check car vertical and check your car's history to avoid any potential scams. So you can check the car's VIN number, you can check photos if the car had any accidents with the insurance because car vertical is always updating their databases. Of course, you can check for any other damages, you can check where the car was sold and which market, and you can check where the important that if the car wasn't stolen, if it's not on a wanted list. Then you can check the car's done maintenance in the past and the upcoming maintenance which you should do uh, and expect in the future. Of course, most importantly, you can check your car's kilometers or miles on the odometer if it was reverted. What was the last uh, inspection on the service? And you can see where the car was uh, registered if there was a previous owner. Of course, you can see the car's full equipment and car specification, and you can see uh, valuation. Uh, if the car is maybe too expensive or uh, too cheap, then it should bring a red flag. And of course, uh, these are the spots we can check your VIN number and some things you should pay attention uh, maybe with that car's uh, uh, potential uh, problems that it used to have uh, from the factory. And then the price, 15 euros, I don't think that's too expensive because it's always better to be safe rather than sorry when getting a used car. So, back to our review. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a quick look of the new Defender. So, I'm gonna just straight jump into the interior and then we gotta cover the exterior of this car because there's a lot of customers waiting just to see this car exclusively. Now, definitely a outstanding, robust design for off-road that feels luxurious, uh, well-designed. This is the first edition quick look of the interior I believe this light is just an extra for the car show so you can see better the interior now if I jump inside I'm gonna close the doors you can see a lot of space here really simplified design we have this massive but really uh, simple design steering wheel we have a start-stop engine here automatic transmission really uh, easy at the reach of the hand AC controls cars currently off so other things illuminate we can turn on the infotainment if it's on so you can see a land land rover then we can see the uh, USB a charger simple dash so you can see the hood good overview of course even there's no blind spots a huge space you can see uh, the roof top you can see uh, in the back you can see those extra windows on the top this is really for something for safari or just off-road cruising then you have a lot of storage compartments you have simple ACs large speakers and then over here you have two USB C's excuse me USB C and USB A nano SIM card a 12 volt charger and then we have a locked compartment the seats are big uh, comfortable perforated leather and then we have this huge armrest with a deep storage area and you can maybe cool it down obviously so over here you can uh, rest your phone this is a rubber mat then two large cup holders as well and underneath you can see you can put an extra stuff over here and below as well so if I turn the camera around you can see extra space Two meter stall 6.6 .6. this is a plug-in hybrid obviously has ev range um, if i'm not mistaken hopefully uh, this is the first time in a such a luxury uh, english brand and let's just check the back space so you have also optional uh, leathers that can fall down so you can climb on the upper uh, cargo area where you can uh, let you know uh, if you're going to off-road safari uh, some uh, gear and stuff like that uh, really bulky doors you have another 5 volt charger and I guess this is a tablet holder AC on the back heated seats uh, another 12 volt charger and two uh, USB A's another so two USB chargers for the car classic and then on the top we have uh, this interesting windows I always loved this as a child uh, so the Defender here is the back look 
and then if we pull this you can see cup holders so uh, the seats are also nice I guess um, they can maybe slide forward or they're fixed no these are fixed in the position of course you have here enough knee space enough headroom and you have this uh, bulky holders uh, if you're going on a bumpy off-road uh, interesting you have a warning here if there is someone in your blind spot so it was activated there I'm not sure if they captured it with the camera and then let's easily for tall people this is really easy access and let's check it on the back cargo area car is locked so it needs to be one tap excuse me uh, on the top so on the top it's the electric opening I was pushing a little bit lower and then we can see the cargo area easily accessible we have this rubber finish extra storage you can knock down the seats uh, and then you can have even a longer cargo space you have a little LED lights you have a uh, charger so this is UK I believe three uh, a little bit different than the standard European another 12 volt outlet you can lower the air suspension if if you need you have hooks on the back of course you can put a cover uh, as well on the top so I guess you could sit over here and you know change or do a safari ride uh, there are here little extra storage compartments now let's check the rear so I'm gonna back up a little bit to put this car in to the frame so beautiful it looks a little bit futuristic uh, futuristic as a concept perhaps but it is a fully production car uh, so if I come down you can see two exhausts uh, it just it's a Land Rover uh, Defender first edition honestly it looks so good it looks like a concept car but it's actually fully production car uh, it looks massive you even have extra storage uh, boxes on the side and then we have this uh, all-terrain um, five-spoke alley wheels that are massive and reading from the tires if I'm not mistaken these would be 20 inch tires uh, Land Rover brakes on the back a lot larger in black color and now if I back up you can see the whole car in the frame I'm actually in the um, uh, fenced area with the glass so you can see and on the top we have a panoramic roof that could be opened I'm gonna push the camera on the top you can see how it looks and then over here uh, this is nice piano black finish uh, I guess you're not gonna climb onto the car this is little uh, stickers but then beautiful uh, light it just looks massive and beefy and uh, sort of mean with this light uh, ready to conquer the off-road terrain with this um, aluminium finish high quality bumper and uh, we even have the camera of course for 360 parking system and look at this LED lights this one comes in the back uh, excuse me black badging and then you can go into a river uh, so we have an air intake here for the engine bay so we cannot show the engine bay but we can show you here uh, part of the 360 ca uh, camera parking system and I'm gonna finish it here so I guess there should be a, another camera on the bottom you can see it just above the uh, license plates and um, of course you have a spare tire and on the top a shark fin uh, a lot of details on this car so this was a quick look and another uh, here just to put the car into the perspective I'm gonna show you uh, another model actually two models two doors and a four door without uh, the roof uh, racks so continuing on so this model is going to launch six months later so they didn't allow me to open the engine bay because we have this so so guys here are the price of the defender 
uh, if yeah this is in English actually no it's on Deutsch so Defender price tags Explorer powertrain range pause if you want to see more gallery we're not gonna watch gallery you can inform if you want to subscribe and um, so this is pretty much it so uh, five seat of course good capacity and, uh, speed and uh, combined fuel consumption co2 key standard features colors packaging options and color and materials so that's it so this is uh, as you can see similar model just without the uh, you know off-road extra packages like the side containers and the uh, roof racks on the top so uh, this is also beautiful some sort of I would say gold color if I'm not mistaken I'm gonna come a little bit closer over here so you can see um, there's a lot of lights so but I believe this is some sort of gold or maybe dark bronze color you can see the LED lights and you can see the towing hook this is without the cover so um, another one here so let's just check this one if there's anything different so pretty much the same as the first one I showed you this one has the uh, bottom extra storage space since this one's a not obviously the plug-in hybrid so this is just the regular defender I'm gonna back up here while everything is close you can see I just love the Land Rover as a kid I had a toy I remember that it was one of my favorite cars of course uh, these are black finished wheels um, just walking to the side of this one so this one has a black hood similar to the other model so if we back up we can see this uh, kind of mean lights but uh, with aggressive nose uh, it's like pumped up I'm strong I can conquer all terrain uh, sort of attitude and uh, let's check the backspace here so it seems like we have the same uh, layout here with some uh, wood finishing uh, a little bit for more comfort and then we have the uh, AC controls with this round uh, dials and then we have leather and on the front seats we have uh, some sort of a textile uh, combination as well on the top you can see the panel light and the same uh, windows on the top in the back storage area and then just a quick peek of the inside as we can see same black now you can see if I zoom in you can see the AC commands and the and the um, automatic controls and now uh, this is the last model so this is uh, fenced off so I guess this is gonna come out later you can see two uh, pipe exhausts on the bottom on the left side and this is a little bit better because it's we can have a better perception how it looks so this is a three-door um, I wouldn't call it a coupe but it's a SUV uh, you can see with the black roof the uh, windows on the top like in the rear space of course in the rear space you have two extra seats so this is a four seat uh, SUV and I just noticed that actually it's sitting in a uh, really shallow uh, water so uh, really really interesting um, this is some sort of a metallic color some sort of silver-ish with an accent of maybe green not sure there but I just I like the lights they look uh, because of this uh, eyes if we can call them like that like they're like err they're saying like err look at me I'm tough but uh, maybe just uh, talking nonsense like Matt Watson um, anyways I'd like to hear your opinion what do you think about the new Defender 
Uh, there's a lot of buzz about this card, a lot of excitement, a lot of expectation. Uh, especially there was a lot of press here, just they all wanted to see the new defenders. I need to say that it looks really, when I'm looking from the distance, like this model now, uh, if all those people would move, uh, now you can see it looks just like a tall, tough SUV that could conquer uh, all terrain. Now, uh, this is the Defender X, the gold model. And I'd love just to see the interior uh, virtual cockpit for you guys and ladies, of course. So we have here a look of this interior as well, the Defender. And just let's just take a peek look of the virtual cockpit. Let's close the doors so we can actually see the good crispy graphics HD, of course. And then we can see the steering wheel uh, with this um, illumination on. Pretty simplified and looks nice. Simple layout. We can see here AC controls, uh, digital, and all the modes. Uh, downhill assist you can raise or lower uh, the maybe the uh, suspension. And then you have, I guess, uh, other options for off terrain. Uh, this is just the air circulation and on the bottom uh, as seen and then let's turn on the infotainment so i noticed this model has the heads-up display as you can actually see over there in front so let's see this infotainment a bit now i haven't noticed but um, there is a little space behind it but not all the way since it's connected on the back but this is very interesting full map so let's see if we can move here we can uh, select so this is oh we can see uh, like virtual cockpit uh, one dial or we can have full map or we can have media or we can have the drive assistance so layout and um, units uh, okay, so we have a lot of information here. Let's see if I can go up and see enable heads up display brightness position uh, Content so this is your all your content here. It's gonna come back. It's wow. This is really beautiful um, so I guess this is the assists and uh, vehicle information warnings uh, trip um, Again layouts so it's the menu goes around uh, in a circle and then we have this beautiful simple uh, navigation it flickers a bit on the camera from certain angles and this is a obviously a demo so we can see here uh, we have even Alex I mean this is Alex phone I guess uh, not Alex the uh, the virtual assistant from Amazon and this is it I'm not gonna waste more time I'm gonna just turn this off and uh, this was a quick look, of course, over here we can see um, other stuff and we have warning there in the, uh, in the side mirror, really simple, you can see just a little dot yellow over there, so um, yeah, just I, I don't think I have anything else to add to this besides that it's a really elegant vehicle so guys I'd like to hear your opinions and ladies of course um, tell me what you think about the new Defender so, I don't know why I'm talking British English I do prefer English American English this is just me personally uh, I'm gonna end it here with the Defender uh, leave your comments below what do you think um, I'll give this video a like if you like what you saw and if you want to see more from Frankfurt Auto Show Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Uh, I mean, click the bell icon to get notifications when I upload new videos. And of course, um, always stay safe on the road. And I'm gonna see you in the next uh, review, hopefully. And I do car reviews, sometimes it's in depth what I get. I'm in Croatia, I'm a Croatian YouTuber, uh, English channel, so I mean, English spoken, so I don't have access to all of these cars. 
some of the cars I just covered on the auto show, but there's like at least on this car show 40 cars to film to remember. So apologies if I don't know all the spec details because it's just really hard to memorize. Even for the professional YouTubers I saw like Matt Watson, Shmi and some others, they all have um, like some notes. So a video uh, description is where you should search for the information about the new Defender. I'm gonna link everything when the video is done with all the relevant information. Thanks for watching, gonna see you in the next one, bye.